Hello student, in this video we are going to learn superposition theorem in these piles. So what is the superposition theorem? Superposition theorem is said that in any linear active bilateral network having more than one source, the current through any element is the sum of currents of 10 from each source considered separately and all other sources are replaced by their internal resistance. If it is voltage source, it is replaced by a zero resistance that is short circuit and if there is any current source, it is represented by an infinite resistance that is open circuit. So, with this example, we are going to study superposition theorem in these pipes. The circuit is like this, one DC voltage, a distance and one DC current. Now connect this all component by a wire. Give 40 volt to a DC voltage. 8 ampere to a DC current. This R2 as a 12 ohm. R3 as a 5 ohms. R3 as a 5 ohms. R4 as a 4 ohm. And this R5 is a 3 ohms. Now we will find current through this R4 that is 4 ohm resistance. So first we will find current through this 4 ohm resistance by applying both the source rate into the circuit 40 volt and 8 ampere. So 40 volt and 8 ampere applied by simultaneously. I will save it by super position theorem. Now go to simulate and simulate this circuit. Now if you see in this window, so there is some error, a floating error. That means we have not applied the earth to this circuit. So we will apply earth to this circuit. Now save and simulate it again. Now if you see here, it is showing simulation is completed. Now on this enable bias current display, it will show current through each branches. So if you see current through this 4 ohm register that is R4 is 1.62 ampere by applying both the voltage source 40 volt and 8 ampere simultaneously. Now we will apply 40 volt alone and 8 ampere source is represented by a their internal resistance. So I, this is the ideal current source. So internal resistance of ideal current source is infinite. So we will represent this 8 ampere current source by open circuit. So for that we will copy this circuit, copy and paste here. So there is no ground is applied here. So apply ground. Now we will remove this 8 ampere DC current from this circuit. So select it and remove it. So in this circuit diagram we have apply only a 40 volt DC voltage source and this 8 ampere current is represented by their internal resistance that means it is open circuit. So now this is only 40 volt is applied. Apply a ground to this circuit. Now save and simulate this circuit. Now here showing simulation is completed. Now enable this bias current display. Now see current Going through this 4 ohm register due to 40 voltage 1.117 ampere. Now we will copy this circuit again and paste here. Now only we will apply 8 ampere source in this circuit diagram and 40 voltage represented by the internal resistance that means short circuit. So remove this 40 volt source and represent their internal resistance that is short circuit. Now this is only 8 ampere is live into the circuit. Apply R to this circuit. Now simulate it. Simulation is completed. Now enable this bias current display. Now if you see current through this 4 ohm register due to the 8 ampere source is 2.279 ampere. Now if you observe due to the 40 volt current direction is through this 4 ohm register is from left to right 
and due to the 8 ohm resistor current direction is from right to left that means current due to the 40 volt and current due to the 8 ampere into this 4 ohm resistor are in opposite direction so total current flowing through this 4 ohm resistor is subsection from higher current to a lower current that means 2.279 minus 1.117 ampere so it will be a 1.162 ampere so current through any element is the sum of current obtained from each sources considered separately and all other sources are represented by their internal resistance so we have verified the superposition theorem in these files thank you